Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's recording of, you guessed it, Aliens the Roguelike, version 0.8.2. Uh, I woke up with, this morning with an itch to play this game, um, and then almost didn't, because I'm like, well, it's it's part of the 2007 seven-day roguelike challenge, and we're not at that uh, challenge yet. And then I realized the 2007 seven-day roguelike challenge is the next of the seven-day roguelike challenges we will be looking at. So why not start today? So not only is this our first uh, first and possibly only video of Aliens the Roguelike, it is a our first video in the 2007 seven-day roguelike retrospective Where Are They Now video series. Um, this is a game by Cornell Kizielovich. You may recognize his name. We've seen him a few times in the past. He uh, made the Diablo roguelike from 2006 Seven Day Roguelike Challenge. Uh, he may, it seems to me, have been also associated with some other uh, games that we've already looked at on this channel, at least peripherally. Although I can't quite place what those were. Obviously, he's also the creator of uh, Doom the Roguelike, one of the most popular roguelikes of the modern era. And... Um, He's also working on Jupiter Hell, which is uh, an upcoming commercial roguelike, which looks really promising. So he's one to watch. Um, before we continue, I also have some, uh, well, based on timing and shameless self-promotion, I have uh, another quick announcement. Uh, I'm recording this on October the 28th, Sunday, uh, a week from the day. So Sunday, November 4th, 2018, my feature film Red Spring will be playing uh, as part of the Buffalo Hill Buffalo uh, Buffalo Dreams Fantastic Film Festival. Sorry for that hesitation. Buffalo Dreams Fantastic Film Festival uh, in Williamsville, New York, just outside of Buffalo, at uh, where? At uh, the Eastern Hills Theater at 4545 Transit Road at 7 p.m. November 4th. So if you are from the Buffalo region and you feel like coming out and seeing a post-apocalypse vampire feature film. Um, my wife and I will be attending uh, to uh, talk about the film afterwards. She was my co-producer on this. Um, so definitely come check it out. It's a, it's a fun film, if you happen to be from the region. I'm not expecting you to fly in from Scotland or anything uh, to see this. It'll be made available to the public at some point. Uh, likewise, if you just want to find out more about the film, you can look on YouTube for Red Spring trailer, and I'm sure it'll pop up. Okay, let's dive into Aliens RL. For the second time today, I actually tried doing a recording of this earlier, and... Uh, Turns out it was in full screen mode, and therefore my Windows recorder recorded the title screen and me talking over the title screen for a half hour. Wasn't that fun. Uh, let's try this again. It actually was a really fun game. I'm sorry you missed it. I was very witty. Let's make sure this is recording this so far. Okay, you can see my visuals. That's all I need to know. Okay. Generating the levels. If you can't find a working elevator up, consider the military tower. They always work there. Okay. March 7th. 2209. Let's get the story out of the way. This is uh, based on the Aliens franchise of films. After receiving a distress call from the colony on Geiger 5, two colonial marines are sent out in a small ship to assess the situation. Their destination is a large colony with several thousand inhabitants, which is considered to be self-sufficient. This makes the distress signal an unexpected occurrence, which is being regarded as false alarm by most of the marines at your outpost, except for the commanding officer. So you get sent out with Nash on a two-week trip to Geiger 5 to check on the colony and report any findings. I'm curious as to why Nash was chosen. Why, why do we care his name was Nash? It's, it comes up several times in the game. Is that a reference to something in the movies I'm not, not familiar with? Nash? Uh, it's been a while since I've seen Aliens. It's probably a main character and I'm blanking. March 20th, 2209, you haven't been able to get any kind of response from the colony during your two-week trip, which is odd. You decide to land your ship near the colony and investigate the situation. March 21st, <laughs> 2209. The automated defense system of the colony was activated during your landing approach and shot down your ship. It crashed into the base of one of the towers. Somehow you managed to survive and crawl out of the wreck and into the tower, leaving behind your dead comrade and most of your equipment. This is exactly what happened in the movies, man. Did you guys learn anything? Enter your name. I went with the very comical name of Newt last time because, you know, because wit. Um, I figure she grew up and became a, a kick-ass marine, but um, she's already in my high score list, and I don't want to confuse things here. So let's uh, let's not go with Ripley. Let's give a uh, let's go with Sigourney. It's an Aliens series, man. You gotta you gotta have a female protagonist. Sigourney. I did play a marine last time, and uh, there was nothing wrong with that. Worked out just fine. But I should play a different thing, on account of different thing. 
Marine, the backbone of the Colonial Marines. You are trained in the use of everything that can hurt other living things and don't mind doing just that. As a typical grunt, you don't really think much, instead relying on your weapons to keep you alive. Don't think much sounds exactly like me, so... It is tempting to play that again. HW Specialist. Whenever shit hits the fan, you are there to make it right and support the Colonial Marines with heavy weaponry. Your daily use of heavy equipment and special training also gives you the physical fitness needed to carry out your duty. I actually served in the infantry in real life for four years. I was, uh... A C6 gunner in the Canadian Infantry. Um, so heavy weapons was my was my bag back then. But um, I just I don't know how, how often we're going to find heavy weapons in the game. So I'm not sure that seems in my in my previous games I've never found a heavy weapon. So it doesn't seem like it'd be all that beneficial in the early game. And I'm not likely to survive beyond the early game because look who's playing. Scout, you are the first one to enter any combat zone, ready to survey it and support your fellow Marines with behind-the-line information. Perceptive and quick, you can make your way through enemy territory with only your trusted sidearm. Yeah, you think so? Maybe. Incidentally, just, uh, something I noticed last time, these um, pluses and minuses. Um, minus is good. Plus is bad. Just so you know when you're setting up your character. I'm not quite sure how that works, but there you go. Medic. My cat is talking to me. Hey, baby. Medic. Uh, even the toughest marine is only human. They don't seem to know that, but you do. Skilled in the medical arts, it's your job to keep all your gung-ho comrades from dying a heroic and early death. You only went through basic weapon training and never regretted it so far. I think that would change if we, uh... Will you stop making noise? You sound like an alien yourself. Alright. Technician. You are the nerd among your fellow soldiers. Well, as nerdy as a colonial marine can be, you can handle computers and other electronic devices like other marines handle their weapons. Like your educated friend, the medic, you lack any kind of advanced weapon training. I think, um... I mean, it, truthfully, in an alien-infested region, I would rather have weapon skills than computer skills. I'm gonna try a scout. I'm gonna regret it, but I'm gonna try a scout. Alright, we have sidearms, apparently. Oh, no, we don't... Do we start with sidearm skills? It says it's basic. I thought we started with good-ass sidearm skills. The sidearm skills represent your weapon training with sidearm weapons. These include pistols, colts, and sawed-off shotguns. Master skill level reduces reload time to 10% of base. I didn't realize it was a reload time. Um, and perception. Oh, apparently uh, pain reduces your vision range. I didn't know that when I was playing before. Fitness. I'm going to take at least one sidearm. How do I do this? Press enter. I mean, I could beef that up further, but let's let's spread our skills out a bit. Perception. Let's take one of those. We can still take some other stuff here. Maybe, uh... This reduces accumulated pain reduces withdrawal symptoms. Withdrawal symptoms? What the fuck? Why not take another perception? Because it's the highest available that we can afford. Alright. A lot of unspent experience. But I guess we can save that up and spend it later, I'm guessing? Let's go to done. Nope. Yep. Done. Right? Nope. Done. Got it. Nash is dead. Ah. You're on your own. Nash is dead. So much for our companion. Again, I don't know who Nash is. Uh, other than the dude who came with us. I just don't know if it's a reference. Um, just so you know, to the right here, I experienced last time, that is back to the planet's surface. To the left is into the dangerous civilian tower level one. Now, our objective in this game is to kill the alien queen. She's at the top of the main tower. Um, en route, we'll explore other towers. It's a multi-towered complex, I guess. like the Renaissance Center in Detroit or something. Um, and, uh... What do we, uh... On the way, we're looking for, you know, obviously experience, but we're looking to uh, beef up our uh, weapons and, and our, our supplies. The thing is, in my last game, I found that the Civilian Tower didn't have a lot of supplies. It has some. So I think you kind of want to get out of the Civilian Tower and into one of the other towers, like a Storage Tower or the Armory or that kind of thing, as fast as possible. Is my is my game plan based on my previous game. That is a corpse to our left. You can press L to look around. Blah, blah, blah. You can press the number pad to move around. Corpse and some ammo. Good. We only have our pistol, eh, man? I found the pistol was almost completely ineffective in my last game. And it was only through the use of my... Uh, MP5 submachine gun that I survived at all. So my assumption is I'm going to die any second. Locate the elevators. Elevator doors are marked. Now, the thing is, I don't know how to scroll the screen. Oh. Oh, no, it's not scrolling the screen. It's scrolling me. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's avoid any aliens we see. That little A was a, was a junior alien or a juvenile. Junior. 
more ammo. Let's get that. Yeah, again, I found I, even even the juveniles were not dying with my pistol in the last game, so I, I mean, I'm better at pistol skills now than I was then, but still. We also, as you can see, have a med pack, or four med packs, pardon me, three frag grenades and an incendiary grenade. Um, you press, those are hotkey slots right here. You're looking at hotkey slots. Pressing one will use a med pack. Pressing two will use a frag grenade. Incidentally, if your numlock key is turned off, and you, uh, and you, or maybe, maybe it's turned on, if it's, if it's toggled in the wrong way, and you press, say, three to move southeast, you're going to try to use an incendiary grenade. You can get out of that by pressing escape. Also, escape will also bring up your, uh, well, your menu and stuff, but you can see a help file right here, which is the same as the uh, readme file or the manual.txt. Good luck, you're going to need it, yeah. All right, let's go in here. These little gray dots we're seeing around us are, um, well, I can show you. They're empty lockers. If they were colored, they would have, um, you know, blue or yellow. Ah! Let's fire at him with our pistol. We hit him. He slashes us. Great. Look how many rounds that took, and um, we're already hurt. Um, these are tables. These are beds. None of that matters to us. We're not going to take a nap. I'd like to take a nap. If I had time today, I do not. Ooh, uh, these are shot off sh or shotgun shells. Pardon me. That blue to the uh, west here is a window. We can see through it. You can also shoot through it. Some aliens, the, the more powerful aliens, can smash their way through it. Fucking terrifying sound effects, man. There is an alien there, a juvenile, that I don't want to mess with if we can just avoid it. I'll also give you a heads up that the closer you are to... Arrgh! This is a scavenger, so different than the last one we fought. I think they're faster. I don't want to use a med pack yet, but I think I have to. There we go. Yeah, I'm just not sure playing a scout was a wise idea. Like I said, I wanted to mix things up, but... Uh, but I also want to survive at least as long as I did last time. I survived for about a half hour last time. I made it into the storage unit level 2. That's where I died. Excellent audio in this game. Let's give that door a wide berth. The hell are these elevators? I would like to find a, at least an SMG. That's another alien over there. That's a, just a juvenile. I don't want to. I don't see a reason to go in there right now. I'm hoping my perception skills letting me see them. See them. Ah, oh, fuck. Press R to reload. You know, I got lots of ammo. Now that I'm using a weapon that doesn't need ammo. There's the, uh, this down here is the elevator. We, we use the computer terminal to locate the elevators. Here they are. Let's head directly there, if we can. I don't know that that's wise, but we're going to try. And press space bar here. Do the elevator's broken? Pressing F repeatedly to fire at him. I don't know how to get it back online. Maybe uh, the last time I played the game. Ah, fucking fuck. Let's try a, a frag grenade. How how wide is this burst? Am I gonna get caught in it? Oh, that's, I pressed F, didn't I? Uh, no, I didn't. I pressed 2. I'm going to try there. Enter. That hurt me. Maybe it hurt me and knocked me back. I'm not sure. It seemed to do as much to them as I would have liked. Let's use a med pack again. Yeah, the uh, the second level elevator was broken in my last game, and it forced me to go in a different direction. Ah! I don't think I can outrun these guys. Like, what other what other choice do I have? But to fight a fucking drone with a pistol. Jeez. 
Jesus Christ. She's our med pack again. Got shotgun shells for our non-existent shotgun. That's gonna help. I don't want to go this way. Leave me alone. Fuck. The handiest tip I could give you right now is don't play a fucking scout. <laughs> I could have. Uh, I could be handling these things no problem. My MP5 as a marine. Admittedly, while chewing through more ammo, but still. Here's something. So just bump into that. We opened it, but nothing was in it apparently, despite it being blue. I guess that just means that there could be something in it. Nothing in these lockers. Damn it. Maybe the other ones are basically like open. That means it's closed, and you can check to see if there's anything worthwhile in it. Ammo. Ammo is nowhere near the concern it was in this game as it was in the last game because I'm firing one shot at a time when I was firing six rounds at a time. God damn it. Um, in the previous game, but still. Ah! I don't want to fight a fucking drone of all... Jesus Christ. We don't have any more med packs. I was like, let's use the last of our med packs. Guys, I recorded that wonderful video for you, and now I'm recording this terrible video for you because I, uh... Because I'm playing a character that I don't know how to fucking survive. Great! We're almost dead. With nothing to show for it. Yeah, I know my health level's low. What am I going to do about it? Jesus Christ! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that was awful. That was the worst scout ever. He just walked around kicking in doors and shooting at shit. I don't know enough about the strategy behind this game to say, you know, what I should have been doing differently. As soon as I found out the elevator was broken, should I have been not going to doors, but just going to the outer edges of the map looking for a way to a different tower? I don't know. Uh, what I do know is that as terrible as my previous game to this was, it was better than that, man. So I was planning on doing just a single video for this. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do two. Um, I'm gonna come back and play a fucking Marine. I'm doing it again. Playing a Marine. Because at least I know kind of how to play that character. Um, yeah, that's the plan. Um, it won't be today because, unfortunately, my plate is very full of stuff. Uh, my wife has gone to her personal trainer, and when she gets home, she expects me to have shit done that I'm supposed to be doing instead of playing uh, a roguelike. Um, so I don't have time to do a freaking third video. I shouldn't have done the first, probably. But, um, yeah, I will be back probably tomorrow and record uh, another video for Aliens RL. I expect to play a Marine. I expect it to last a little longer than 18 minutes. Sorry this one was so short, but I am uploading this one today because, uh, again, I want to also provide a notification about our upcoming uh, screening because, hey, that's how we do, you know what I'm saying? All right, I'm gone, guys. Have a lovely, lovely day. If your wife wants you to do stuff, go do it. I advise you. All right, bye.